All sports fans love a good documentary every once in a while. Today we're looking at MLB documentaries that are coming out in 2020. The first documentary I want to look at is about the 1998 home run race. This documentary is set to release on June 14th, 2020 at 8 p.m. Central Time. The documentary is going to be a 30 for 30 on ESPN. For those that don't know, a 30 for 30 is just a one hour documentary. It came from 2009 when ESPN released 30 films to celebrate their 30th anniversary. It is titled Long Gone Summer and many credit the 1998 season for saving baseball from the popularity loss due to the 1994 strike. To give you a little background information on the 1998 home run race, it was a race between Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa to break the single season home run record. The record was originally set in 1961 by Roger Maris who hit 61 homers. On September 8, 1998, McGuire hit his 62nd homer of the season against Sosa and the Cubs. He ended up with 70, while Sammy Sosa ended the season with 66. Later on down the road, both Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa had been found using performance-enhancing drugs. The record for single-season homers was broken again in 2001 by Barry Bonds, who hit 73. This next documentary is titled Imperfect, The Roy Holiday Story. It is an E60 on ESPN that is going to be released May 29th. Imperfect is going to cover how incredible Holiday was on the field and how unincredible he was off the field. Roy Holiday was a starting pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies and Toronto Blue Jays. He played for 16 seasons from 1998 to 2013. He ended his career with 203 wins, a 3.38 ERA, and a 64.2 wins above replacement. On November 7, 2017, Roy Holiday was doing stunts in his plane when he crashed in the water off the coast of Florida. He had officially died from blunt force trauma and drowning. An investigation revealed that Holiday had a dangerous mix of prescription drugs in his system and had struggled before with depression. Immediately following his death, the two-time Cy Young winner and eight-time All-Star was elected into the Hall of Fame. The only other person that had been elected into the Hall of Fame immediately following death was Roberto Clemente. Here's the trailer for the Roy Holiday documentary, Imperfect. Everybody on their feet. Holiday's got his sides. The one-two pitch. Hit toward third. Castro has it. Spins, fires. A perfect game! Roy Holiday has thrown the second perfect game in Philadelphia Phillies history. What comes to mind when I say the word perfect? Unrealistic expectation. I, I don't think there's such a thing as perfect. There's few pictures that you can think about that you have this supreme respect for. He was the epitome of what a perfect pitcher should look like. One of the greatest pitchers of his time. This absolutely stoic warrior. One of the toughest in the game. Nobody wants to face Roy. The work ethic was the best I've ever seen. A man who was expected to be perfect or seen as perfect. I saw how hard that was on him. Did you think he was an addict? Yes. The second no-hitter in postseason history. He was tormented. His body was dependent on these medications just to function. ADD, depression, anxiety, paranoia, where he had a lot of demons that he was trying to work on all at the same time. What do you think he got out of flying? Freedom. One of my last texts were, be careful with that thing. 911, what's the address of your emergency? A plane just now crashed up here in a place called Sand Bay. Roy would want everyone to know that people are not perfect. We all struggle. But with hard work, humility, and dedication, imperfect people can still have perfect moments. Perfect. I hate that word perfect.
Now that you know about these two documentaries coming out soon, let me know in the comments which one you're looking forward to the most. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.